I'm scared that I made a terrible mistake getting engaged to my fiancé. For background, I got married to my high school sweetheart when I was 20. We immediately got pregnant. And when our daughter was two, my husband died of a heart attack. It was a freak thing. He had no underlying conditions. He just suddenly had a heart attack and died at the age of 23. It was a strange and weird thing to go through and I felt like I grieved it all at a distance. Sorry if that doesn't make sense. It was almost like it was something that was happening around me but not to me. It was hard to admit but on some level I felt relieved when he was gone. He was controlling and I felt slightly relieved and also guilty about that. But anyway this is not about my late husband. I just think that is relevant backstory. About two years after my husband passed, I met someone through work he was a client and we fell in love immediately. It was like nothing else I had ever experienced. Fireworks and angels singing. I knew he was the one. He was the missing piece from my little family. He and my daughter got along amazingly well. He helped me fix up my house that had a lot of problems so it went from being an albatross to a sanctuary. At the beginning of quarantine we decided mutually to shelter in place together. Our first night sheltering in place. He surprised me with a ring. He said he had wanted to propose soon anyway even though it had only been 7 or 8 months depending on when you start counting. But with being in quarantine together he wanted to make our future together official. And he proposed. I was overjoyed and said yes without a second thought. I can't explain it. I just knew we belonged together. But slowly over the last six months things have changed. The main issues are. He used to be helpful with my daughter and over time he replaced helpfulness with criticizing me. I never expected him to take care of her and do the dirty work of parenting discipline. Helping with home school stuff but he stepped in voluntarily right off the bat and was great at it. Over time he stopped being helpful and doesn't do any of the hard stuff. I have to ask him to watch her if I want to run an errand and he sighs and is like, Okay, I guess. He never voluntarily takes her out to play anymore or anything like that. It's not his job. It's mine. And I feel like it's wrong for me to expect, ask, but it feels so disappointing that he used to do that stuff and he stopped. And not only that, but he constantly has something to say about what I do with her. Like, more TV. Okay, I know I'm not a perfect parent but this is hard for everyone and it's like if he's not going to help then at least don't judge. We have had a lot of friction about combining finances. I asked him to start paying some of my mortgage now that we are planning to live together and he was very weird about it. He said I clearly could afford it. He doesn't want to feel like he's my tenant since the house is in my name. A bunch of other stuff. The way he said it all I felt embarrassed for even asking. Like I'm being a gold digger. And I dropped it. But the longer we go on in this situation the more I realize that he should be contributing. His bad moods are really bad. I thought he was stressed out about this big work deadline he had. But it passed over Labor Day weekend and nothing has changed. Sometimes I feel like I have to be walking on eggshells because I don't even know what's wrong and he won't talk to me about it but he's so obviously in a bad mood. Like his face looks like someone just died and he won't look at me and gives one word answers. He'll be like that for days and the worst part is that when he acts like that toward my daughter she clearly is so hurt by it. We don't have sex as much as we used to. It used to be every day. Maybe multiple times a day. Since we moved in together it has slowly dropped off to the point where now we are at maybe every other day. Sometimes we'll go up to a week without. And when that happens my fiancé gets so upset. He feels like our relationship is broken. I don't love him anymore, etc. I feel like that is just normal for a relationship that goes on long enough and to be honest it is a real turn off when he acts hurt about that. I know all of that sounds really bad and I have been seriously considering breaking off the engagement. We still have a lot of really good times together but these issues are very serious and I don't see that they are going to get better. Only worse, the hard part of the decision for me is my daughter. She has already gone through so much in her short little life and she really loves him. I feel like in some ways losing him would be even worse than losing her dad since she's older now and so much more aware. And she has already lost someone. I'm so afraid that I made a terrible mistake and that no matter what I choose she is going to be permanently psychologically wounded. I really don't know what to do at this point. Can our relationship be turned around? Or do I need to just cut my and my daughter's losses and get him out of our life sooner rather than later? Just found the evidence. Been thinking my wife has been cheating for a couple months. We've been in separate bedrooms minus a few weeks in June when we had a brief reconciliation. I was still on edge, I admit. I'm the type that will snoop when I feel that something is up. Then, I found it. The love letter from him. Her co-worker. He is a pharmacist in the earth she works at as a nurse. The letter goes on and on about how she turned cold on a Friday. The same Friday I assumed that she broke down at work and called me crying wanting to work things out. It states that for the last 70 days as he has got to know her that he has fallen so in love. Said that she always told him that they could get through anything together. On the letter. 
The idiot puts his phone number. Fuck you both. I call the guy. Confirm who is. Then I introduce myself. He knows who I am. I say I believe you know my wife. Silence. I found your little note. Evan, it's time to be a man and tell me the truth. Silence. Then he hangs up. I call back. Leave him a message. When you are feeling like you are man enough, you need to tell me the honest truth. You can call me at any time. I'm not going to go crazy or do anything like that. That's not who I am. But it's time to be a man. Not five minutes later. Frantic phone call from my wife on her work phone in the air. She tries to turn the blame on me. On any shortcoming I may have and even some that she has made up in her brain. This isn't about me right now. It's about her stepping outside of the marriage. I'm no angel. But I am home every night. Home every weekend raising her son like I have since he was 10 months old now 8 since I met her. I may be a lot of things, true, but at least I'm not a cheater. I know everything about this guy now, where he lives, his wife's name. The fact that he has a child with her that is no more than 2 years old. This is the type of guy that you want. The type of guy who will run around on his family, his own blood. Fuck him, and fuck her. The urge to slash and burn and ruin both of them is strong, but I need to take the high road. I have the letter as well as little drawings he made for her. He even dated and time-stamped them. 4.30, 5 to 1, 5 to 2, 5 to 3, you idiot. You gift-wrapped this shit for my lawyer. The letter and notes are safely in a friend of mine's safe. Waiting for the lawyer. I will start over. I will get my life back. I will be okay. 